everybody, welcome back to the Words of Life Daily Bible Reading. We are at day 351, and today's reading will be from the book of Joshua again, chapters 19, 20, and 21. Let's dive right in. The book of Joshua, chapter 19. The second lot came out for Simeon, for the tribe of the people of Simeon, according to their clans and their inheritance, was in the midst of the inheritance of the people of Judah. And they had for their inheritance Beersheba, Sheba, Moladah, Hazar Shual, Bala, Ezem, Eltalad, Bethul, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Lebeoth, and Sharuhen, thirteen cities with their villages. Ain, Ramon, Ether, and Ashan, four cities with their villages, together with all the villages around these cities as far as Baaleth Be'er, Ramah of the Negeb. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Simeon, according to their clans. The inheritance of the people of Simeon formed part of the territory of the people of Judah, because the portion of the people of Judah was too large for them. The people of Simeon obtained an inheritance in the midst of their inheritance. The third lot came up for the people of Zebulun, according to their clans, and the territory of their inheritance reached as far as Sarid. Then their boundary goes up westward and on to Mariel and touches Dabesheth. Then the brook that is east of Jachnium from Sarid goes in the other direction, eastward toward the sunrise to the boundary of Chisloth Tabor. From there it goes to Dabarath, then up to Japhia. From there it passes along the east toward the sunrise to Gaf Hefer, to Eth Kazin, and going on to Ramon it bends toward Nia. Then on the north the boundary turns about to Hanathon, and it ends at the valley of Iftahel. And Katath, Nahalal, Shimron, Idalah, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the people of Zebulun according to their clans, these cities with their villages. The fourth lot came out for Issachar, for the people of Issachar according to their clans. Their territory included Jezreel, Cheseloth, Shunem, Hepharaim, Shion, Anaharath, Rabith, Kishion, Ibez, Remeth, En Ganim, En Hada, Beth Pazez. The boundary also touches Tabor, Shahuzama, and Beth Shemesh and its boundary ends at the Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Issachar, according to their clans, the cities with their villages. The fifth lot came out for the tribe of the people of Asher, according to their clans. Their territory included Helkath, Hali, Beten, Akshaf, Alamelech, Ahmad, and Mishal. On the west it touches Carmel and Shehor Libnath. Then it turns eastward, it goes to Beth Dagon and touches Zebulun and the valley of Iftahel, northward to Beth Emek and Nael. Then it continues in the north to Kabul, Ebron, Rehob, Hamon, Cana, as far as Sidon the Great. Then the boundary turns to Rama, reaching to the fortified city of Tyre. Then the boundary turns to Hosa, and it ends at the sea, Mahalab, Akzib, Uma, Aphek, and Rehob, twenty-two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Asher, according to their clans, these cities with their villages. The sixth lot came out for the people of Naphtali, for the people of Naphtali, according to their clans, and their boundary ran from Helef, from the oak in Za'ananim, and Adami Nekeb, and Jabneel, as far as Lakum, and it ended at the Jordan. Then the boundary turns westward to Asnoth Tabor, and goes from there to Hukok, touching Zebulun at the south, and Asher on the west, and Judah on the east at the Jordan. The fortified cities of Zedim, Zer, Hamath, Rakath, Chinnereth, Adama, Rama, Hazor, Kidesh, Edrei, Enhazor, Yeron, Migdal El, Horem, Beth Anath, and Beth Shemesh, nineteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Naphtali, according to their clans, the cities with their villages. The seventh lot came out for the tribe of the people of Dan, according to their clans. 
and the territory of its inheritance included Zorah, Eshtaol, Ir Shemesh, Sha'alabin, Aijalon, Ithla, Elon, Timna, Ikran, El Teka, Gibbethon, Baalath, Jehud, Bene Barak, Gath Ramon, and Me Jarkon, and Rakon with their territory over against Joppa. When the territory of the people of Dan was lost to them, the people of Dan went up and fought against Leshem, and after capturing it and striking it with a sword, they took possession of it and settled in it, calling Leshem Dan after the name of Dan their ancestor. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Dan, according to their clans, these cities with their villages. When they had finished distributing the several territories of the land as inheritances, the people of Israel gave an inheritance among them to Joshua the son of Nun. By command of the Lord, they gave him the city that he asked, Timnath Sirah, in the hill country of Ephraim, and he rebuilt the city and settled in it. These are the inheritances of that Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel distributed by lot at Shiloh before the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting. So they finished dividing the land. Joshua chapter 20 Then the Lord said to Joshua, Say to the people of Israel, Appoint the cities of refuge of which I spoke to you through Moses, that the manslayer who strikes any person without intent or unknowingly may flee there. They shall be for you a refuge from the avenger of blood. He shall flee to one of these cities and shall stand at the entrance of the gate of the city and explain his case to the elders of that city. Then they shall take him into the city and give him a place, and he shall remain with them. And if the avenger of blood pursues him... They shall not give up the manslayer into his hand, because he struck his neighbor unknowingly, and did not hate him in the past. And he shall remain in that city until he has stood before the congregation for judgment, until the death of him who is the high priest at that time. Then the manslayer may return to his own town and his own home, to the town from which he fled. So they set apart Kedesh and Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, and Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. And beyond the Jordan east of Jericho they appointed Bezer in the wilderness of the Tableland, from the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth and Gilead from the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan from the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities designated for all the people of Israel and for the strangers sojourning among them, that anyone who killed a person without intent could flee there, so that he might not die by the hand of the avenger of blood till he stood before the congregation. Joshua chapter 21 Then the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites came to Eleazar the priest and to Joshua the son of Nun, and to the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel. And they said to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, the Lord commanded through Moses that we be given cities to dwell in along with their pasture lands for our livestock. So by command of the Lord, the people of Israel gave to the Levites following cities and pasture lands out of their inheritance. The lot came out for the clans of the Kohathites. So those Levites who were descendants of Aaron the priest received by lot from the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin, thirteen cities. And the rest of the Kohathites received by lot from their clans of the tribes of Ephraim, from the tribe of Dan and the half-tribe of Manasseh, ten cities. The Gershonites received by lot from the clans of the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. The Merarites, according to their clans, received from the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gad and the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. These cities and their pasture lands the people of Israel gave by lot to the Levites, as the Lord had commanded through Moses. Out of the tribe of the people of Judah and the tribe of the people of Simeon, they gave the following cities mentioned by name, which went to the descendants of Aaron, one of the clans of the Kohathites who belonged to the people of Levi, since the lot fell to them first. They gave them Kiriath Arba, Arba being the father of Anak, that is, Hebron in the hill country of Judah, along with the pasture lands around it. But the fields of the city and its villages had been given to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, as his possession. 
And to the descendants of Aaron the priest they gave Hebron, the city of refuge for the manslayer with its pasture lands, Libna with its pasture lands, Jatir with its pasture lands, Eshtemoa with its pasture lands, Cholon with its pasture lands, Debir with its pasture lands, Ein with its pasture lands, Jutah with its pasture lands, Beth Shemesh with its pasture lands, nine cities out of these two tribes. Then out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with its pasture lands, Geba with its pasture lands, Anathoth with its pasture lands, and Almon with its pasture lands, four cities. The cities of the descendants of Aaron, the priests, were in all thirteen cities with their pasture lands. As to the rest of the Kohathites belonging to the Kohathite clans of the Levites, the cities allotted to them were out of the tribe of Ephraim. To them were given Shechem, the city of refuge for the manslayer, with its pasture lands in the hill country of Ephraim, Gezer with its pasture lands, Kibzeim with its pasture lands, Beth Horon with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Dan, El Tiki with its pasture lands, Gibbethon with its pasture lands, Aijalon with its pasture lands, Gath Ramon with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Teanach, with its pasture lands, and Gath Ramon, with its pasture lands, two cities. The cities of the clans of the rest of the Kohathites were ten in all, with their pasture lands. And to the Gershonites, one of the clans of the Levites, were given out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Golan in Bashan, with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the manslayer, and Beeshtera, with its pasture lands, two cities. And out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishion with its pasture lands, Dabarath with its pasture lands, Jarmuth with its pasture lands, En Ganim with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal with its pasture lands, Abdon with its pasture lands, Helkath with its pasture lands, and Rehob with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kedesh in Galilee with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the manslayer, Hamoth Dor, with its pasture lands, and Kartan, with its pasture lands, three cities. The cities of the several clans of the Gershonites were in all thirteen cities with their pasture lands, and to the rest of the Levites, the Merarite clans, were given out of the tribe of Zebulun, Jokneam, with its pasture lands, Karta, with its pasture lands, Dimna, with its pasture lands, Nahalal, with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with its pasture lands, Jahaz with its pasture lands, Kedemoth with its pasture lands, and Mephaath with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth in Gilead with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the manslayer, Mahanaim with its pasture lands, Heshbon with its pasture lands, Jazer with its pasture lands, four cities in all. As for the cities of the several Merarite clans, that is, the remainder of the clans of Levites, those allotted to them were in all twelve cities. The cities of the Levites in the midst of the possession of the people of Israel were in all forty-eight cities with their pasture lands. These cities each had its pasture lands around it, so it was with all these cities. Thus the Lord gave to Israel all the land that he swore to give to their fathers, and they took possession of it, and they settled there. And the Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their fathers. Not one of all their enemies had withstood them, for the Lord had given all their enemies into their hands. Not one word of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed. All came to pass. All right, that wraps up the reading for today, and we'll just leave it with the very final thought of the last chapter we just read is that all of God's promises will always come true, and that is pretty comforting if you, uh, if you think about it a little bit. God bless you all. We will see you tomorrow.